Oof. Morning guys, uh, it's time to head off to York, got a few tools in the back. Uh, we're gonna go do a little bit of trail ma maintenance after our last event. And uh, should be good fun making a couple of boys out there. And uh, we'll get this thing underway. Just found something very, very cool. Oops, that won't work. Let me just shut this. That's the brand new rig for Wage this year. Um, so I'll lock him up. And then check out this little feature. Oh yeah, remote start of the LCZ, effectively known as uh, Kevin. So let's get on the road and uh, we'll go to York and uh, do some trial maintenance. Meet some guys out there, it should be good. down stage one this was our meadows through here. Craig's picked up a little spot. Just kind of fix up. Come through here. Push off these initial rocks and bounce right. Should be nice and fast. Hold your speed through here. It's the next little spot. There's a lot of water rushing down the hill here as you can see. Gaining a bit of speed and coming down onto our trail. So just building a little bit of a roller here. To divert the water back in that way or back down the road there and then it stops all the water flying down our trail and eroding it. It's a good bit of quarry quagmire. Just fixing up a little bit more drainage through here. Make sure people aren't cutting the corners as well. Keep them on the track and go down there for the awesome gap jump at the bottom which is a bit of a hoot for wage at our last round in York. But this is a good challenge through here, really good. Who hit this one? Oh, who didn't? Bit of water down there. Uh, this is a good spot for the spectators. So we've got this awesome feature coming down stage five here. Um, just comes up, meets the bottom of our gap jump down through there, which is always a bit of fun, good trail through here. Uh, Craig's just filled us in on a little bit of information. What's that, Craig? Oh, so yeah, like these are doing fire mitigation, so there has to be a road right around the whole the whole hill. So this is basically going to get engaged as flat and turn into a road. Mm. So unfortunately, all this beautiful rock here, part of our mountain biking stage, all this natural environment. Fees are gonna come in and um, knock it all over and build a road up through here. So I understand there's fire risk, but um, there's certainly other ways to get around. Other private properties that could be used, but uh, it's gonna be very sad to see all this cool rocky feature get removed for the fire track. A 
fix up this wicked uh, berm here. Bit of a flat inside line, but this outside could be a little bit faster now. I built it up. Should be a blast ripping through here and heading off. This could be our last one for the day. Craig's happy. We've done everything he's asked us, and uh, we had a bit of a plan today, and I think we've smashed it out. Whew. Hey Franco. Hey. <laughs> I'm waiting on that beer you promised me. Sir. Oh yeah, it's coming. So it's nice and cold. Top of York now. Just come back up the uh, our old Sage 5. It's a bit more maintenance down through there. I think Craig's happy with what we've done today. It's good having a nice small team walk down, smash out what we need to do, move on to the next feature. It's actually really good. A few more riders up here, which is great to see. Well, sorry if I'm shaking around a little bit. Drop my bucket. Here come the boys. How far, fellas? Good, how are you? Michael's out here. Yeah, I went to a mark, so I've got that, and I've got a whole new bearings through the whole lot. Oh shit! I pulled the whole thing apart. There was a few seeds, but not the whole thing. You're looking at a vintage bike, eh? Yeah, that's it, mate. Well, I'm in the market for one, so I'm having a little bit of... It's like the airfield, man. Yeah, so I, um, yeah. There's eight bearings for one, so... It's not as hard as a thing, is it? It actually wasn't. I was a bit this one. Yeah. Probably due to new bearings in the one that's an odd shape. I think it's in there. Looks good though. Um, it's been yeah. this was out of the car, so um it's one more So he's looking after us. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. Oh she's got more. <laughs> I think we'll have to go speed. Oh my god. Another couple of trials I think. Yeah. <laughs> And he's also going to... What are you doing in his spare time? Yeah. He said he doesn't want to do anything unless we're moving towards... Wow. Oh my god. On the road again. Leaving York. I think there's a car behind me. There was a car behind me. There is a car behind you. Look at him there. There is. Beautiful sunny shining. Got Frankie in the car with me. Keep me entertained. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to sleep in there. <laughs> See, York has been fun, got Absolutely. some trail maintenance done, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get back next year. A few things I'm sure will change, all for the better, I'm sure. But we look forward to always getting back here, it should be a blast. Just arrived at uh, Lake Lesh and Orsia. Couldn't swing, couldn't stop by from York without uh, seeing Ivan's awesome work for the Western Trails Alliance, and there he is right down the end up there. Just gonna see if I can get underneath this gate. So just keen to go see some of Ian's handiwork. Now Ivan, Ivan and Ian, they've uh, really drove, driven this project. So, and they're doing some building now, which is awesome. And really keen to see what they're up to. I think there's some blue trails in here. I think it's a bit more of a cross country style course. So should be really good for families and things. So we'll come visiting the lake and uh, checking out the area. Should get a lot of cool things to ride. Yeah, awesome. These little cool little features. Ivan's been knocking up. He's got his machine in there in the forest. But this is looking good fun. So Ivan's found these uh, big granite slabs here and he's turned it into a bit of a riding piece of artwork here. <laughs> Very cool. Then out you pop. So which, uh, is that called any particular stage yet, Ivan? Yeah, he's all. He's got. He's got trailhead. A little bit furry, but yeah, very cool. Just had a quick walk up there, and should be a hoot coming down there. So just yeah, we're at Lake uh, Legionaltia. 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 Yep. And uh, yeah, doing some great work in through here for the Western Trails Alliance. Check out these little cheeky numbers. Oh boy.
I'm James. Whew. It was a big day out, but I think we've got a lot of uh, trial maintenance done today. Pretty happy with our efforts of the team. Uh, huge thanks once again to Craig, um, he's a legend out there on the York Trails, uh, and David as well who was out there. We also had Harry and Frank, and huge th uh, thanks as well to Trig and um, Sue as well. Um, baked up an absolute feast for us, and I've got a few uh, pieces of cake here for the boys as well. Managed to smuggle a bit away, but uh, yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoyed uh, catching up with me and the trials on York. And uh, really looking forward to getting back there. Hopefully on a bike of my own one day very soon. Uh, but very keen to get back there as well for a uh, wage uh, round in 2020. Which is pretty crazy to say, but. Um yeah, signing off for now. Um, stay safe on those trails and catch you out at the next round, I think is in Dunsborough, uh, round five um, on the 21st of July. So catch you then. Ashton. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one are you gonna get? Which one are you gonna get? Oh. Yeah? Which one? Do you want one? Say, say thanks, Sue. Thanks. <laughs>